Hello everybody, welcome to my first tutorial of 2023. It is one of my resolutions to start making small tutorials for those beginning in Second Life with information that might sound insignificant to us old timers, but any information sure does come in handy. So let's get started. Today's tutorial is how to add, delete, blog people in Firestorm Viewer, as well as giving them permission to see you on the map, move your items, and vice versa. So you might end up meeting with someone super cool and you want to hang out with them again next time the two of you are online. But how can we know when they are in Second Life? You add them as a friend. To do so, have your conversations box up, which it should already automatically be there, and click on contacts. Now, I have friends, but yours might still look empty for now. There's a couple of ways you can add someone, and the easiest for me is by right-clicking on that person, choose profile on the pie menu, and their profile will pop up. At the bottom of their profile, you click on the add friend button and when you do, they will get a notification from you to accept or reject. But who reject you? Nobody. <laughs> so now in your contacts, their name will appear. When they are online, their names will be shown as bold letters like this. And when they are offline, they appear as a regular font like this. Now that you know how to add friends, your list will grow pretty fast and sometimes we add people that we regret. To remove them, all you have to do is click on their names in your contact once and it will be highlighted like so. Then click the remove button and they will now be gone from your contact list. Let's say you're having the time of your life at a club, but there's always that one person who is a jerk or a bully or just won't leave you alone. All you have to do to never hear from them or even see them literally is to block them. Again, right click on that person, go to their profile and right under the add friend button is the block button. <laughs> Bam, blocked. You will not see them as a gray weird alien or sometimes just an orange cloud. You also have two powers that you can give to your friends and they can give it to you as well. Edit, delete, or take objects is one, and the second one is map rights. So map rights allows them to see where you are at all times if you give them map rights. It does sound creepy when you hear it like that, but most people use it for friends to just teleport to them when they log on in case they're AFK and things like that. Um, other people do use it in bad ways, like if you have a manipulative and controlling boyfriend and then they force you to give them map rights so they can see where you are at all times. <laughs> you can use it for that too. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. The edit, delete, and take objects rights use someone with caution, but they will basically be able to help you move things around in your home, edit some of your items, uh, return items, or delete your items, and so forth. I love using this one with my friend who is an amazing interior designer, and she would just come and move all of my things around, edit them, and just decorate my house so nicely. So it does come in handy, uh, especially for landscaping as well and all of those fun things. To give them those rights, click on their name once in contacts and when it's highlighted, you check mark the appropriate box. This one is for map rights and the next one is edit rights. When you check mark them, they will get notified on their end that you have given them those rights as well as when you uncheck them, they will also get notified that you took those rights away. The other two identical boxes will show if they gave you rights to that as well. So you'll see them as faint check marks if they did or just empty if they didn't. But remember that you also also get notified when they give you those rights. The last thing I want to talk about is hiding your online status. So this eyeball here automatically has all of your friends checkmarked, meaning they can see you on their contact list when you're online. However, if you uncheck it, it will show you as offline. Sometimes people use this one because they don't want to be bothered at that specific time and just want to do their work or explore on their own or whatever the reason is. Once you're ready to appear online to that person, just check mark it again and you'll be visible to them as online again. 
Just remember that it only works online in world. On the website, secondlife.com, they can still see you are online and appear offline in world. Then they might find out that you hid yourself and some are okay with it and others do get their feelings hurt, but you do you as long as you're not doing it for some bad purpose of hiding yourself from your girlfriend while you're trying to go see someone else. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Please don't forget to share it with those that are coming into Second Life and slowly learning the ropes. If there's some tutorial ideas you'd like to leave me, you can leave them in the comments or email me in the address left in the description box. See you guys soon. Have an awesome virtual life. Bye-bye.